So, I made this list the other day, and for some reason, for the very first time, uh, I recorded it, and everything was going great, and for some reason, it wouldn't upload this in its correct format to YouTube, in which I explained everything in detail on every character, but it didn't make it. So, this will be an uh, addend version of that. So, here we go. Essentially, I saw someone putting Jill in a, like, uh, mid-tier position or high-tier position because of the way that they look. And I was thinking, no, this character does not deserve to be that way because this character doesn't have necessary skills to compete properly in a game like this. Uh, essentially, I didn't put any of my feelings toward characters in there. I put this list in there in accordance to what I see in tournaments, what I see in people playing on like a, a casuals online, the the, da the damage they do, the mix-ups, the insanity that they can do, etc., etc. So, without going into a lot of detail, because who knows uh, if it's going to be worth it. Okay, so the bottom tier characters are put there because they have done no results for anything. They have a lot of bad matchups in the game, and uh, their output is extremely low for what they do. Uh, they don't have a lot of ways to get out of things. Their defense, their defense sucks. Their offense sucks uh, completely. I dare anybody to show me anything good with these characters. And the number one reason why these characters are the bottom and the bottom tier versus just low tier is because whenever they're on a team, 90% plus percent of the time, maybe 95% of the time, these characters will get whopped. It's very, very difficult to find a video currently with these characters kicking ass against a mid-tier or higher team. You just, you, you'll rarely ever see that joint. If you see it once, I bet you won't see it again. It's so rare to see these guys, Sanko, Shulk, uh, Shulk uh, and Iron Fist kicking ass. That's why they're the bottom of the bottom tier. The higher tier ones, you could see kicking ass against mid-tier characters. You could, even against the high tier characters, not the S tier those, not not them, but against the high tier characters, they have possibilities. They have possibilities to compete against the high tiers, but the odds are very, very low. I would say it's like a 80% chance that low tiers will get their ass kicked. Uh, they, some of them may have defense abilities, but overall, uh, except for Iron Man, Every one of these people there are squishy, and they do shit damage. Um, I, uh, Iron Man is here because he, he does have good health. He does do good damage, but you know why he's there? He's slow as fuck. He has no armor. He has no abilities on his super. I don't think he does. Not, not really, anyway. If Spencer's level 1 beats your level 3... You get pushed down two tiers. That's automatic right there. That's automatic. Like, uh, is Strider, yeah, Strider's up there. Yeah, Strider's put in high tier because of his X Factor, but we'll get into that later. So Iron Man, like, he, he's slow. He has, he has defensive options with, with the Repulsor, right? He has that stuff there. But guess what? You get nothing off of it. You could do something off a throw with this guy, but it's, it's going to mean, like, virtually nothing anyway. Most of these characters in the low tier section can't get anything significant off of a throw. Um, and their their movement pattern is very predictable for what they do. Especially Arthur, uh, Firebrand, and and, uh, and more or less um, Trish. Uh, Iron Man has very predictable patterns. So that's why they get uh, the, the low tier spot. Uh, Trish could do mix-ups, but her by herself, it'll take about... Five or something by itself there with no assist or whatever. Like, well, to do with assist, probably if you're lucky, four. But most characters in Marvel 3 will kill you without X Factor up but two, two hits, like one reset. But for Jill, it takes like four or five. That's why she's in the low tier. Same with Firebrand, X23. It takes a while to actually kill somebody alone with that character. And in X Factor, she might be good, but no one really uses her to find out. 
Mid tier is too many characters, as you can see over here. Long story short, the characters that are here are there because they have um, mainly untapped potential to get into the high tier, but I've seen more than enough with the mid tiers to make me think like these guys are good hands. Either they have invincibilities on level ones, or they have like extremely long range, uh, and like and invincible, like some invincibility on stuff, uh, high attack power, uh, tricky projectiles like Beautiful Joe and and Rocket Raccoon, uh, good assists as well, um, insanely high damage like Ghost Rider, uh, and and uh, the, the, his super, uh, Ghost Rider super will beat. Well, when, when they got to your supers in the game, Bionic Arm, it'll beat that shit clean. Because his bike has multiple hits of invincibility on there. So, and, and it has enough armor to get through, like, um, Dr. Doom's hidden missile bullshit. So, it'll get through that nonsense. So, he has potential. Chris, insane damage and mix-ups off of incoming because of the fire traps and whatever. Tesmas is very mobile. Uh, Ryu, like, he can, like, his Tetsmaki Sampukak uh, is a good way to trick people up there into going for big damage. Thor has armor. Deadpool has the, the teleport mix-ups uh, and good, uh, and good um, t uh, touching off of uh, projectiles. Storm is there, uh, and she's not low to like some people may assume, is because her hailstorm is very fucking good. High damage up the, off of the hailstorm. She has decent mix-ups, um, and um, her speed is okay. She's in the air. Her, her, her mobility in the air is very good. Um, Viper is there because she has missability on level 1. Uh, good mix as well. Uh, good damage. So, yeah, uh, Hagar's there because I've seen, I've seen way too much of this character to uh, be any... To, no, so, no way. So my question why Hawkeye's there. Hawkeye has good damage off of OTGs, his poison arrows, uh, his overall ground speed is very good. And um, yeah, like uh, that that's it because his speed is really good and his his damage is okay. That that's why he's there. Uh, his assist is really good as well, so that's why he's there. He's never gonna be high tier, but he's good mid tier for sure. Uh Wolverine is, is in mid tier and not high tier, uh, simply because well, um, I guess, like, alone, he doesn't do the greatest, uh, like, damage by himself there, but with other characters, he can do stuff there. He could definitely kill you over two moves, per se, like, like the high tiers and stuff like that can. Uh, his incoming the mix-up is really good as well, but it can't escape being mid-tier because, um... His defense options aren't the greatest. He has, he has a he has a sure you can get off me move, but uh, that's about it. But he gets killed rather easily because the makers of the game didn't put in his healing factor for whatever reason. Just like Deadpool and X twenty three, if they had their healing powers like they did in the comic books, they'd be in a higher tier. But I spoke with the developers of the game. Um, I forgot his name, but yeah, I spoke to the developer of the game and I asked why Dante and Virgil have healing factor and. Deadpool, Wolverine, and X Men Three don't. Um, yeah, it, I'll put it this way: it was intentional. It was it was that way. It was intentional. So there you go. Um, Super Scroll, uh, Super Scroll in high tier. Why high tier when no one really uses them? Simply put, do you want to get hit by this guy? I don't. He has insanely easy mix-ups off of like essentially normal specials. Uh, on incoming, good luck guessing. Uh, he can definitely kill you off of uh, two attacks or whatever. Uh, good resets as well. Uh, just like Nemesis, he can like uh, reset you pretty easily. Uh, why is Tron Bond in mid tier? Um, yeah, huge range, really good damage. Assist is okay, but really good damage there. Um, sets you up well with other characters like like Frank West and whatever. So yeah, that's why Tron Bond's there. Uh, and she's not shit tier. She can she can do some shit. All right. Analyze, analyze, cube. Um, I don't think anybody would have a problem. Okay, so pr probably someone would be thinking, why is Captain America so high in the, in the high tier? Uh, his switch side, that's the main thing. His flip, that's why he does that. Um, good damage off of like any hit there. He can, uh, he, he like simple moves, but he does good damage off of them as well. Uh, his shield, is in, I think is invincible. His armor on the shield, his level one has a miss building on there. Uh, he can do de like big damage off of like virtually anything, uh, and his defense is high as well, and um, yeah, so yeah, that's why he's there. He doesn't have the loops 
that that Strange has or Nova has there. But the reason why Nova and uh, it's like the Strange are in the high tier because because they have loops. If they didn't they didn't have like game glitch loops to do big damage. They wouldn't be here. Um. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't need to say why the, the the top tier, god tier, if you will, are high. Let me know in the comments whether or not uh, these characters are wrong in your opinion. I'll go into discussions later. Clack off.